Well everyone the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus is one of those phones that came out a few years ago back in 2022 it's approaching 2 years old right now but I will still tell you it's easily one of the best phones you can probably buy. It's a very solid phone across the board. It's not perfect or anything but I do think Samsung did a really good job with it and by far it's one of my most favorite phones that Samsung's ever made. Now starting off with the outside of the Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. On the front of this particular phone you can see we have a massive 6.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display and it's a very big panel and it's a very good panel. It's 1080p 120Hz and you have to remember a few things this was not their main flagship of the time. Their Ultra phone is basically their most expensive one that they make this one is a little bit of a different device. I don't really know how to describe their plus it's like a more better version of their standard base model. I still think it holds up very well in so many different ways and the Samsung Galaxy S22 plus in my opinion is a very good device especially on the front display it's a hole punch display fingerprint sensor in the display there's still lots and lots of stuff to like about this phone and by far it definitely gets a thumbs up for me without a doubt so the front of this phone for sure I love it. On the sides of this phone they are like a little curved but they are just like a little not curved too I don't know how to describe it whether they are like flat curved a little bit, little bit. On the bottom of this phone you are getting a USB type C port which is really cool this port is port is actually a little bit better than some of the other ports that we've had on some other phones because you are getting things like Samsung DeX and some other things like that on this type of phone which is genuinely very cool so having that type of capability from this device from that perspective is genuinely a very cool thing so I like that a lot on this type of device as well and that is kind of the I guess most of the things that we are kind of getting on this phone on the sides you're not getting a headphone jack or micro SD card slot on this phone which is kind of expected at this point. On the back side you're getting your frosted glass back on this phone which looks good. Like I said before there really isn't that much to complain about here. From that particular standpoint on this type of device you're getting a very good type of experience all across the board on this type of phone which is something I like a lot from this type of device there so again it's not perfect but it's still a very good frosty glass back which feels very good and very expensive too if that's something that you're into on top of that you're getting your triple camera setup there which is very cool your reverse wireless charging which is another cool feature and without a doubt there's just endless amounts of things to love about this phone I think it feels very good in the hand and like I said I think that in of itself is probably some of the strong suits of this particular device from that perspective now some other areas of this phone that I actually like a lot is its price tag. The thing about Samsung phones that we've seen basically throughout their whole entire lifespan since they've been made is that they're pretty quick to deviate in price so if you were to buy this phone right now this phone is already depreciated so much like probably like 40 to 50 percent probably more than that but within the first couple of weeks that a samsung phone comes out these phones depreciate like 10 percent probably even more than that they depreciate quite fast so the best time to buy a samsung phone is always later in my opinion there's really not a huge point of buying a brand new samsung phone when you can just buy them when they come out or like maybe like a week or two later. So in terms of cover setup there if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that means so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly everything else. I love every single one of you guys hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.